Hello everybody, today I'm at the North American International Auto Show taking a look at this all new 2023 Chevy Silverado 1500 ZR2 Bison Edition. This is probably the king of off-road that Chevy offers. We've got your beautiful ZR2 style black and color match bumper with your Chevy bow tie cut out for increased airflow. Signature LED headlights as well as fog lights on this AEV off-road powder coated bumper. It looks like you have steps right here underneath each headlight, which is pretty cool. Massive tow recovery hooks. Front facing camera is going to be right there underneath the bow tie. Got your ZR2 badging right here. You also have your 6.2 liter V8 badge up top on the hood. The hood is two-tone white and black. Really nice aggressive fender flares. Coming down to the wheel and tire setup, it looks like we have an 18 inch wheel and a Goodyear Wrangler Territory MT. Again, ZR2 badge right here. Color matched mirror caps with blind spot monitoring. Your 360 degree mirror mounted camera systems right there. Passive entry, so as long as you have the key fob on you, you can lock and unlock the vehicle from the driver or passenger door. Pretty aggressive rock sliders. And that chip guard or that rock guard goes up almost 10 or 12 inches. So they are definitely protecting the paint from uh, rocks and the elements, which is always appreciated. Capless fuel fill port. Again, massive wheel and tire setup. There's your Multimatic DSSV shocks in the back. Your Bison badging is right here, usually where the Z71 badge is. You have the AEV off-road style bumper in the back, again with tow recovery hooks. Your seven pin connector and then your trailer uh, camera system is gonna be above that. Silverado lettering is blacked out on the driver's side. AEV is blacked out on the passenger side. This does have the pro tailgate system, which we will go over a little bit more in detail later. This is just one sweet looking truck. This white on black is a perfect color scheme for this guy. Again, blind spot monitor. I don't know if I already went over that. And then this also has um, off-road indicator lights in the grill right here and right here. So this truck is absolutely amazing. Again, it's got the 6.2 liter uh, V8 and a 10 speed automatic transmission. Let's take a closer look at the interior. Here on the driver's side, we have this really nice gray and kind of like lime yellow stitching. It actually looks really, really unique and cool uh, for this ZR2. All your window controls are going to be right here. Front windows are automatic up and down. All your mirror controls are right here with your power mirror fold button right there. You have an electronic parking brake, push button transfer case with drive mode dial, and your trailer tow mode is a button right underneath that. Rotary dial selector for the exterior lighting of the vehicle. Above that we have your instrument cluster dimmer switch, fog light button, as well as your cargo lamp button. Coming up top to the dashboard, it's that really nice gray and yellow stitching dashboard up top. This guy does have a heads up display, and those settings are going to be right here to the left of the driver's steering wheel. Coming up to the instrument cluster, it is going to be fully digital, uh, very customizable, programmable to monitor whatever parameter you'd like to monitor. Very cool. I love that the automotive industry is moving towards a digital instrument cluster. Leather wrapped steering wheel. Cruise control buttons are going to be on the left side. Heated steering wheel button is on the steering wheel itself. Um, adaptive cruise control button right here. Hands or steering wheel mounted uh, phone call buttons and the controller for the center LCD display. You have a nice storage tray up top above the touchscreen. And then the touchscreen, I believe, is either 10 to 14 inches diagonally. It's very, very big. And it is powered by Google, 4G LTE connection, wireless CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. You can pretty much monitor everything through the touchscreen display, which is awesome. You have a bunch of buttons down here, starting from left to right. We have your lane keep assist button, parking sensors off, Automatic start stop off, it is on by default. Uh, tailgate down, hazard light button, uh, traction control off, hill descent control, rear locker, or both lockers. Push button start, integrated trailer brake control, heated and ventilated seats for driver and passenger. Something that I love that GM does is they offer just the seat back heated, not the entire seat, I really like that. Again, dual zone climate control, storage tray right here, another one there. 
and another one here. Really nice, sleek, minimalist style um, shifter. I really like this instead of the rotary dial wheel or the buttons. Two cup holders and then a wireless charge charging mat for a phone. Really nice center armrest. Again, I love this gray and this yellow stitching. Open it up, giving us access to this removable storage bin right here. With this, you do get USB-C, USB, 115 volt, 400 watt power outlet. It is LED lit. And you also have these hanger hooks right here for file folders. So if you are using this vehicle as a business vehicle, you can keep all your files nice and organized. There's your AEV stitching on the headrest. Really nice bolstered seats as well. This vehicle has two glove boxes. The first one's gonna be right here. You're gonna push that button, it's gonna open up. Second one's gonna be right here. Up top to the vanity, it's gonna be LED lit for passenger as well as your driver. Up top right here, you have a three door universal garage remote. All the controls for the sunroof as well as your rear power sliding window. LED dome map light master controls and then your auto dimming rear view mirror that doubles as a video camera mirror. You can control the brightness, how high or how low the camera sees, as well as how zoomed in or zoomed out uh, the camera is. Overall, I love this redesign. It's a much needed redesign for the Silverado and it makes it extremely competitive compared to the competition. With that being said, let's see how much legroom we have in the back. And I do want to point out these seats do fold up, giving us access to some under seat storage and almost a load flat floor. This does have the in-seat storage, which is nice. Lots of storage in the back of this vehicle. Getting in is real easy with the grab handle. I'd say I have easily a foot of legroom before my knees hit the front seat. Um, this truck is just very spacious. Storage in the form of pouches behind both driver and passenger seats. Two cup holders right here. Heated captain's chairs. Under that you have USB-C and USB outlet flanked by two HVAC vents. This center seat does double as an armrest slash cup holder. LED dome map lights are gonna be up top. And I love that GM in their trucks is staying away from the twin pane sunroof. Uh, you get so much more headroom if you don't have a sunroof at all or just a single sunroof. And I don't know if you'll be able to see, but it looks like they extended the headlighter up here about three to four inches, giving everybody in this truck maximum headroom, which is greatly appreciated for the taller people that have to sit in the back. Um, I could definitely see myself being comfortable on a long car ride in this vehicle. Let's take a closer look at the bed. The tailgate on this vehicle, there is a couple ways to open it. The first way is with the key fob, which I don't have. The second way is with the button underneath the touchscreen display. And the third way is the traditional way you're gonna come up to it, push the button, and it's gonna come down. But because this has the pro uh, tailgate, you push this top button and just the top portion will unlock and come down for you, giving you access to um, load long items at an angle in the bed. If you have to keep them in the bed, you can fold that up, giving you even more cargo space. There are also tie down points on each side. I don't know if that came through for you. Right here and right here. When you're done with that, fold it back up. If you want to get into the regular bed to push the lower button, it automatically comes down for you. We have a spray in bed liner from the factory, three tie down points in each of the four corners for a total of 12 tie down points, which is class leading. Also, if you look closely, they pushed out the bed sides, giving you more cargo space, which again is class leading. This right here is your bed step. We'll get into that in a second, but we have 115 volt, 400 watt power outlet back here as well as LED bed lighting. Now, if you want to use the tailgate as a step, you're gonna push both buttons simultaneously. It'll fold down like that. You're gonna fold this guy down. It has grip tape like a skateboard right here, so you're not gonna go anywhere. Fold this guy up, and you're up and in. Now, to put it away, you're gonna simply reverse the process. Pull on this little latch, fold it down, fold this up, and with one hand in one motion, I can put up the tailgate. Let's take a quick look at the payload and towing sticker. Fortunately, this is non-saleable, so there is no real trailering information. There you have it, 2023 Chevy Silverado 1500 uh, ZR2 Bison. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a like and share. 
If you want to keep up with more auto show content, please consider subscribing to the channel and be sure to check out all the affiliate links in the description below. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.